Welcome to Club Officer Training. You know, TLI has put on some world-class training today. Really world-class. So guys, take a bow. If you're a TLI trainer, take a bow. A lot of times, people will say, I don't want to go to Club Officer Training because I can read it in the manual, or I've done it before, or this is my seventh Club Officer Training. You know, a lot of what we do is not in the manual. Think about it. What is the actual value that you're getting out of today? The actual value you're getting out of today is networking with your peers in the room. Your fellow VPMs. I'm a VPM. Or VPMs, I'm one of you guys. Your fellow VPMs, VPEs, presidents, sergeants, uh, uh, secretaries and treasurers. Those are the people who you're going to be learning from the most. And that is why TLI this year is so interactive. And that's why round two is such fun. Because we can inspire each other. We can learn from each other. You know, a lot of what we do is not in the manuals. It's not in the manuals that we have to change people's lives. A lot of people say to me, club officers are actually about management. They're not about leadership. The club officer role is a manager role. And you know, I disagree. Club managers just have to keep the status quo going. But there's no such thing as status quo in Toastmasters. The first thing we do is we change lives. We help people reach their full potential. That's part of the vision of Toastmasters. That's part of the mission, to expand the network of clubs so that more people can take advantage of the program and change lives. That's not in the manual. How do we inspire people? How do we lead? How do we work as a team to change people's lives? And the way we do that is we've got to grow our own club and we've got to grow Toastmasters. And one of the things that we in District 74 are doing is we are trying to get to 250 clubs by 2016. Now, somebody said to me, how does that help me get a CC? I'll tell you how it helps you get a CC. A club that is isolated is necessarily weaker than a club that has neighbors just around the corner. A club that has got neighbors just around the corner means that you can have area contests. It means that you can come to an event like this and share with your peers. It means that we can lean on each other when the times get tough. It means that we can inspire each other so we can change more lives. And that is the job of Toastmasters, to change lives. And in order to do that, this year we've got some exciting news. The first one is that we're changing the alignment of the divisions. We're going to broaden the divisions in enormously. We're going to give more people an opportunity to lead. We need more area governors. We need more division governors. We're going to be going to nine divisions this year. So in order to get more division governors with smaller divisions, so that the smaller divisions can grow faster. At the moment, we've got divisions with 26 clubs. The minimum size for a division is only 12 clubs. And we think that if we had one leader dedicated to 12 or 15 clubs, there's a much better chance of growing then than if you've got 26 clubs to look after. And the same for areas. If you've got five or six clubs in your area, then next year your area will be smaller so that we can start spending a more quality time with our areas. In order to make this alignment happen, we have to go to MaxiCon. So, treasurers, make sure you've got enough budget to send your VPE and your president to MaxiCon so that we can vote on the alignment. MaxiCon's happening in Division F and the early bird is... Uh, is valid until the end of this month, the end of January. So please book and pay for the early bird. It's in Division F near Durban in a place called Bothus Hill. And that's some more exciting news. We have permission now to run the international contest in more than one language. We have in permission now to run the international speech contest in more than one language. Do you know what that means? It means we can run international contests in Zulu. And that's what we're going to do this year. So we need an area governor, please. One area governor, two area governors, three area governors to run an area contest in Zulu. You can run the international contest in English at the same time. It means that if please compete. We need judges. We need timekeepers. We need uh, competition chairs. Please, an area governor needs to stand up and say they want to run a contest in Zulu. We've got some people at Midrand Club. They are very keen to compete, and we would love to see that. Also, in the Minicon in, in uh, September this year in Cape Town, that means we can run the impromptu contest. 
we can run the humorous contest in Afrikaans. Wouldn't that be fantastic? So these are some of the things that we've been working on hard as a district. And that's one of the reasons that districts are so important to clubs, because it means that there's a network of clubs. It means that we can start doing these really exciting things. Now, in order for a club to grow, in order for a district to grow, it needs to have well-run clubs. So I'm going to ask you to stand up when I call your name. Are you ready? Here are the clubs that are already distinguished. Distinguished by the second round of COT. In Harare, we've got executive clubs. Six points on the DCP already. Well done. Please stand up, Harare. Well done. Pretoria East, please stand up. Telephonics. Maputo. Well done, Maputo. They actually got trained last year. I'm reading from a list here. That's why I'm looking down. Standard Bank Ops, the top club in the country last year. Standard Bank Ops is uh, distinguished already. West Rand Club. Well done, Sean and his team. Sean is our district secretary, and uh, he's a member, a proud member of West Rand Club. Ernst & Young in Cape Town. Well done. Winelands. And in Division E, Algoa. All of these clubs are already distinguished. Stay standing. Please stay standing. Give them a round of applause. Isn't that amazing? I just think that's amazing. My other home club, Greenside's only got two points so far. Please stay uh, standing. And please will you join them? Total Club. Total in Division H. Central Centurion in Division A. Forum Club. Please stand. Two Oceans Club. Please stand. And Swakop Munt, stehen Sie bitte. Also, if there are four people standing from Total, Central Centurion, Forum, Two Oceans, and Swakop Munt, that means that at this club officer training, they have picked up their fifth point, and that means that they also are distinguished. So, well done. These are the clubs, ladies and gentlemen, stay standing, please. These are the clubs that are doing what's not in the manual. These are the clubs who are changing lives. These are the clubs who are registering the CCs early. They're not waiting till the end of the year. They're registering the CCs as they come. These are the clubs who have already got four new members and have registered and paid for those clubs. You may now sit. Thank you very much. It's that kind of good management. It's that kind of leadership that this district needs if it's going to succeed. When we were in the States, in, in Vegas, in August, we spoke to an international director. His name is David McAllister. And he himself was a lieutenant governor of marketing at one point. And uh, this is for the VPMs in the room. Are you paying attention? This is the most amazing thing. He picked a list of 100 people to phone. And he phoned 100 people. And these were people who had not renewed their membership. And he asked them one question. What brought you to Toastmasters? He didn't say, please join. He didn't say, why did you lapse? No. He asked one question. What brought you to Toastmasters? And what brought me to Toastmasters was I wanted to get better at speaking again. I had been at Toastmaster before. I left for two or three years. And then I got rusty. And so I thought, I'd better just go and polish up my skills. That's what brought me back to Toastmasters. But what made me stay was the opportunity to change the lives. And so I continued my leadership journey. And so you have continued yours. What is it that brought you to Toastmasters? And VPMs, if you phone your lapsed members and ask them that, they will connect again with what brought them to Toastmasters in the first place. And then they will sell themselves Toastmasters. You don't have to sell it to them. 40% of the people that David McAllister spoke to signed up again. That's two in five people, all ex-Toastmasters, but two in five, they had got what they wanted to from the program. But when you ask them, why did you come? They realized there was so much more to get. And so they joined again. And they will join a club that is well run. They will join a club where a VPM will take the time and trouble to phone their five or ten or maybe as many as 12 members who might have lapsed in the last six months. To sum up, what have we got? What we're doing here today, gentlemen and also ladies, is mostly not in the manual. Of course, it's in the manual as well. But we're here to network with each other, to learn from each other, so that we can help change lives, so that we can inspire people to be better. We're doing this so that we can grow the district to 250 clubs by 2016. And in order to do that, we're going to change the divisions 
and the area structure going into 2016. In order to vote on that, to make sure that we get that through, the VPEs and presidents of a quorum of the clubs, two-thirds of the clubs, about 90 clubs, have to be at MaxiCon. And to help you be at MaxiCon, treasurers, please make sure that you've made allowance in the budget. And the early bird is extended to the end of the month. Please book and pay to the end of the month. Also at MaxiCon, we will be holding the very first time an international contest in the Zulu language. And so please compete. Please make sure that you, if your club has got a Zulu speaker, that you give them the opportunity to give their best speech ever at MaxiCon. We also recognize the distinguished clubs already in district. I'm going to count them quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clubs. That's nearly 10% of our district. And another one, two, three, four, five clubs who are distinguished today. So congratulations. That's 10% of our district have already achieved that goal of being a distinguished club, which means that they are well-run clubs. And, uh, and I finally said to the VPMs, maybe an idea is phoning your lapsed members. And asking them what brought them to Toastmasters and then find that they themselves will sell Toastmasters back to themselves. Have a great training, guys. We won't be speaking again. That's it. Unless I see you at MaxiCon. This is my last district governor address to you. I wish you a fabulous rest of the year and I look forward to hearing of your success. Over to you, guys. <laughs>